Here's how to allow your customers to upload one or multiple files like images on your Shopify store with a simple copy-paste of code. This tutorial is compatible with any of the free themes like Dawn, Spotlight, Refresh and so on, but it's not compatible with the premium themes. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is to create a new product page template, since you probably want this feature only on specific products. From your themes list, click on customize on your live theme, then click on the drop down at the top, select products, and click on create template. Here you can name your template whatever you want. I'll name mine custom and click on create template. Next, open the settings of the products you want to add this feature to and scroll down to theme template. Here you can assign the template that you just created to this product. You can repeat this for all the products that need this feature. Then let's save the changes. Back at the themes list again, let's duplicate our live theme by clicking on this button and on clicking on duplicate. We do this so that we can always go back to the original version in case we make a mistake. You can publish the copy by clicking on this button once you're satisfied. For now, let's click customize on our copy. Next, let's open our new product page template by clicking on this drop down again, products. And here, select your new custom template. We need to add a new block under the product information section. So here is the section concerned, and we can simply click on this plus to add a new block. Here, we need to select custom liquid. Then we can click on the block to change its settings. You will find the settings panel on the right. Mine is on the left just because I'm zoomed in on the page. We're going to paste some code in this field, so keep this page open and open the code generator. You can find the link in the description. So on this code generator, we need to select the file upload field. So to do that, click on this first drop down and select file upload. And on this text field, you can give it a name. For example, I'll call mine image. And under it, we have some checkboxes. One to make the option accept multiple files, let's check this. And another one is to make it mandatory to upload a file to add the product to the cart. Let's check this one too. And after you're done setting up everything, let's scroll down and click on this button to copy the code. Now let's go back to the Shopify editor and paste the code that we've copied on this field. Then let's click on this previous button. Let's scroll down and drag this field where we need it exactly. Let's say I need it above the quantity field. So I'm just going to grab it like this and drag it right above the quantity. We made the file upload option required, but we will need to disable the buy it now button since it won't work with it. So to do that, click on the buy buttons block and make sure to disable the show dynamic checkout buttons. All right, now let's save and Let's test our feature. So here we are on the page of our custom product. If we try to add a product to the cart before uploading anything, we get this error message. So now let's upload some files by clicking on this upload button. Since we checked the option to add multiple one, we can select multiple files and let's add them. We also have the number of files here. Now let's add the product to the cart. And as you can see, we have all the images that we selected here. Let's view the cart. And as you can see, the images are still present on the cart page. If we want to see an image that we've uploaded, all we need to do is to simply click on it to download it. Now let's proceed to the checkout and our images are still present. After the customer buys the product, the images are stored in the order details. So let's take a look at our orders and let's choose the latest one and we can see our images here. And to download an image, all you need to do is to click on it and then you can simply open it. If you are using a premium theme and you want to pay for a developer to add a custom field like the file upload, you can contact me by using the link in the description to hire a developer. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.